Hey guys, Jack Nitro here. Uh, so I've been having on my 2013 Volkswagen Tiguan, I've been having a, uh, it has a 2.0 TSI and I've been having a P0299 uh, air code on my check engine lights. Uh, I've been having really bad gas mileage and cannot accelerate quickly at all. Uh, shifting is bad and I can't exceed 80 miles per hour when I could previously. Uh, so uh, doing some research, everybody was telling me do the diverter valve, which was a $50 part and you replace it right here. You can do that from underneath the car. Uh, that was, uh, I tried that first and that did not fix it. So then a very, very common thing is these wastegate uh, on the OEM turbos failing. So uh, I had to uh, replace it because I was very convinced from reading everything online that my turbo was bad. So uh, after buying a $1,200 turbo, uh, the better one from Borg Warner, please do not buy the OEM one, which uh, the Borg Warner has an adjustable wastegate rod. Um, so you don't have to buy any more turbos. Um, while doing that 15, I, that took me 15 hours to replace, but in the middle of removing this turbo, I did notice that this wastegate is not bad at all. Um, uh, so that kind of cued me off right there. And, uh, but I continued with the turbo swapped, uh, just because I'd put that much work in and, uh, maybe it was it oh, the whole time. So, um, uh, after uh, getting that job completely done, it ended up still having the P0299 and the performance of the engine was still very bad. Uh, so uh, after a few months, I've been having this issue. It was kind of a disappointment to do all that work and still not have the problem fixed, but I uh, have not been deterred. Uh, so the next thing I did was uh, possibly it was a leak on the boost side of the turbo. So I ended up buying $7 part worth of parts, a two inch PVC um, cap here. And then I drilled it out with a 27, 30, yeah, 27 64 inch drill bit or a 31 64 inch drill bit. And then I self tapped it with the male end of the Schrader valve. Um, then uh, I disconnected the intake uh, hose pipe and I used the uh, standard spring clamp, uh, which I really recommend these pliers that have a self locking. Uh, that spring is really hard to put in, very tight space there. Uh, so coming up from the top and then locking this is your best bet instead of using clamps themselves. And uh, then after that, I uh, pressurized this with uh, about 20 PSI on my air compressor. Once uh, that happened, I kept on hearing an air leak from the uh, PVC about around this air intake portion. Um, once that got done, I ended up uh, taking this hose off and plugging the intake manifold with my finger and uh, ramping up the pressure to about 20 PSI. Again, your turbo only produces, I think about 15 PSI. So um, I just wanted to do 20 to uh, test it further for leaks. And uh, I kept on hearing this hissing and I'll show you guys in a second, this hissing sound. But after uh, plugging my finger in here and then over uh, pressurizing it, this cap just completely popped off. So I know I've got no air leaks from the, uh, the clamps and the intercooler because the intercooler is also another common thing I've heard. Well, not common, but it could be. And then these clamps I've also heard are not abnormal to fail in these pipes. You know, it's old rubber, so it could fail. But uh, no, that's all under pressure and it's not leaking any air anywhere. Um, so after plugging this back in, doing the PVC, I uh, ended up putting my finger and plugging this hose um, and it ended up pressurizing my timing chain cover gasket and I had a little bit of air leaking in here. So, um, and I've been noticing I've gotten some oil up here, but I thought it was my oil cap, 
but it wasn't. And um, you can also just undo this and leave the cap up here to see if air is leaking out into your block from the valve cover. Um, so that's a good recommendation when you do this pressure test. Uh, but yeah, so this kind of explains why I've got oil up here is because the block is being pressurized probably from this PVC failing. Um, this PVC is only about $100 with, the, with new hoses, so I'm going to go ahead and buy that because I believe that's what's failed and uh, caused my P0299 code. Um, please look in the description. I'm going to uh, put in there if it actually successfully fixed the issue. Um, but before you buy a, no, a whole $1,200 turbo... I really recommend you doing this $7 test. Uh, if you have an air compressor, it's just $7. So, um, and let me just kind of show you what it looked like. Um, but go ahead and like and subscribe. I'm gonna update the form that I commented in with my issues um, after I swap out this PVC if it resolves it. Um, if it doesn't resolve it, again, look in the description. I'll uh, comment what's my latest diagnosis and what I'm moving on with. So I've got this. I'm going to just allow this to uh, get a little bit more pressure here. Well, actually, we'll just leave it. I think uh, this will do. So after putting this in, again, I'm hearing it in here. After using my finger to plug that, I've got air leaking right here straight into my face from this uh valve cover so it's, it's definitely leaking into the block uh, i believe this sh this hose should be under vacuum it shouldn't be uh pressurizing the block um the only reason that you have air flowing through here is if the intake manifold is in a vacuum then air pressure comes from the pvc into the intake manifold not vice versa so yeah I've got a failed PVC, I believe.